Hi, uh, I had recently made a video to share my PhD journey uh, and uh, many people had asked me how exactly I had made. Uh, it was very well received and they wanted to know what software I had used to make the video. I had used Microsoft PowerPoint uh, and uh, uh, they had asked me what steps I followed and uh, uh, so here I am sharing the steps and some of the tricks that I have used so that you can make your own videos uh, in Microsoft PowerPoint. So large part of my time was spent in script preparation. I received help from the uh, public engagement team here at the University of Dundee uh, in the UK and then uh, I prepared the uh, presentation in PowerPoint, uh, uh, added animations and recorded the slideshow mode uh, uh, as a screen, you know, screen share or screen recording and this recorded uh, uh, screen was uh, mixed with the voiceover recording. Uh, this is what was published. Uh, I will put link to my original video uh, uh, and, uh, and also share the slides so that you can follow along. Uh, this work was inspired by Powtoons. So if you don't know Powtoons, I encourage you to check their uh, website. Uh, they offer options to make or generate pretty animations and pretty videos. They are really cool. I was inspired by their work. Uh, I had followed some guidelines like most of the uh, 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 my, my slides are grayscale with few exceptions. I have only used single font. Uh, I have put some anchors uh, uh, or retained some parts of the uh, slide uh, constant between the slides uh, and have used uh, pictures to convey uh, more than words. So I, I will tell you what it means. So go going back to my slides, by the way, I will make these slides uh, 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 public so that, you know, you, I'll put the, put the link to this uh, slide in the description. You can download it and check this out. So uh, as you can see, uh, most of my slides are grayscale, you know, I, I, different shades of black or uh, gray. Uh, but uh, <coughs> I have also kept some part of the slide constant. For example, if you if you look at uh, you know, this part, this uh, of course this is colorful because this is this is the image of a protein, and uh, this protein is the hero of my uh, of my story. So. Uh, however, you know, I have kept this part constant between the slides. For example, you know, if I go to several slides, you know, this part remains, this part remains constant so that it will be easy for, to, for, for on, the, on the eyes to follow. Uh, not only there, but also, you know, between this slide and the previous slide, you can see that this is constant. Uh, and also this uh, reference point is constant between the slides. So when you view this in animation mode, uh, it will be easy on your eyes. So you, you will not, you, know, uh, you will not be, you know, uh, uh, the, the transition between the slides will be almost, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, clean, I, I would say. I, I don't know what other words to use. But yeah, so this is what I have used. And I have used some pictures like this uh, to convey uh, some phrases like uh, here uh, I have used uh, the needle in the haystack picture which are, without actually stating needle in the haystack in my original uh, script. So th these are some of the guidelines that I have followed. Uh, so we have just looked at uh, uh, these options, I mean these guidelines. Now seeing, uh, looking at uh, you know what tools were available and wh what I have done with the tools. So just to give an overview of tools, uh, I'm already assuming you know all these things. Uh, <coughs> sorry. So if I if I uh, open a new slide, I don't need this text box. So I will just uh, you know insert, you can use various shapes, for example, you know, circle. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and there are several icons. Uh, there are several icons here. So I have used most of the icons uh, uh, from whatever was available. For example, clock uh, is one, one icon that I have used. Uh, there are many, many icons. And similarly, hurdle is another icon that I have used, which is readily available. So yeah, these, these are the icons. So you can, you can animate them uh, in various combinations. So for example, in, even in animations, I have only used three kinds largely, like uh, you know, if you click here, uh, you can make it you know, appear in particular way here uh, and then you can probably make this uh, follow a path. Uh, so let us say I will just scribble some path, it will follow that path. So it will follow a path in that way. Uh, and then you know you have this uh, probably it, you know, I want this to fly out uh, after this and you can, you can use several options here, uh, uh, advanced options to give more uh, 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 granularity 
to the animations for example you can you can uh, for example you can for this uh, path following you can say bouncy end so if i play this animation you will see what it what happens there so i know it will bounce before stopping so i have used all these things so again these are all very simple things and i'm you know i'm sure you you know this already uh, but how i how i have used this in combination is uh, you know is something that i want to share and probably uh, is more important uh, for you to recreate uh, the the kind of videos that i have made I'll just close this for a moment. <coughs> Sorry, I cut that for a moment. So he, here is one slide uh, uh, which I want to uh, you know, explain. So if you if you go to animation mode, so what happens there is uh, you know you get this. So yeah, this is this is how it happens. So, uh, but there is there is lot of you know there is there is uh, some hidden uh, hidden things behind the scene. So what I mean by this is. Actually, there is a white box behind which all the icons sit. So I wanted these icons to be in the same place, uh, and but appear only after the protein structure appears here, uh, as though you know, as though all these icons are coming from behind the protein. That, that was the desired effect I wanted to achieve. So yeah, if uh, uh, so, what I have done is I have placed this in front of it. But as soon as the slideshow starts, this rectangle disappears. So yeah, in in that way, I'm controlling these animations. So and many people had also asked me how exactly I created this scene. So this scene is again everything is uh, built from scratch. For example, if you if you look at uh, uh, this door, this is uh, entirely done uh, by uh, shapes. As you can see, you know, if you ungroup this, if I ungroup this, you will see that uh, you know everything is separate. You know, you, even the door knob is just uh, an ellipse. If you, if I zoom in further, you will see that that's just an ellipse and and a stick there. So everything is built from scratch, and I have also given some uh, you know, uh, uh, some uh, uh, you know embellishment, I can say, to icons. So for example, you know, I wanted the professor to have white hair, but the student to have you know black hair. Uh, so if if you ungroup this, you will see that I have just scribbled a small uh, shape on his head to give you know achieve that. And even if you look at this, you know I have just repurposed a, a different icon. For example, if I ungroup this, you will see this person is actually not working, but rather drinking a coffee. So yeah, so yeah, this is this is how I have. You know, these are several tricks. Uh, uh, similarly, you know uh, uh, the spider and uh, you know, everything is shapes. You know everything is shape. So uh, I will encourage you to you know uh, 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 deconstruct this uh, uh, and you know make your own videos. Uh, hopefully, you will. Uh, uh, your videos will be as impressive as mine. Uh, uh, so, the, I think that's all I wanted to share. Uh, so, all the best for your uh, uh, video making. We have covered these things. So, all the best for your video making. Uh, and do let me know if you have any feedback uh, or if you have any suggestions for me to improve further in my future uh, projects. Thank you very much.